Three, two, one. Glowing Up Latina, Season 2, Episode 13. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Glowing Up Latina. Hello. Hey, everyone. I'm Christina. I'm Amanda. And I'm Liana. And we are freshly back from Jamaica. We were there for six days and five days. It's five days and four nights. But I think it was six, like it's five and a half days ish. Yeah. I say. Yeah. Because we left super early on Monday. So I don't really count that as a day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wednesday we was like half a day. Mad early on Wednesday. I think we were all at the airport by 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. And then we got to the resort like at 2 30 because the resort was like an hour away from the airport. Which we we knew that. We knew that going in. We knew yeah. it was about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, but you know what? I guess we'll just we'll get into it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we left really early that first day. And we got there. Everybody checked in. Your room was ready right away. Right, Amanda? Yes. And you know what? Thinking about it now, was it because like not all of the rooms were under your name? Like the rooms were each like under our own names right yeah it was my reservation but like i think you all three of us had one room under our name okay okay that's what i wanted to make sure okay yeah yes so my room was ready right away as soon as we checked in because when we checked in it was it was check-in time or maybe like we were 20 minutes early and we were there it was 2 30 when we checked in yeah so kind of surprised that the room was ready by the time we got there was your room ready liana yeah i was ready at first, they were like, oh, you have to wait. And they were like, just kidding. It's ready now. And I was like, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Love um, to hear it. <laughs> my room was not ready. And we had some issues. It was lovely. Um, my AC was broken. The safe was broken. The balcony door was broken. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so everybody was out at the pool and I was literally for like what an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, I want to mm-hmm. trying to get everything settled in my room. Mm-hmm. Um, and honestly, because they were like, Oh, is the balcony door closed? Like, because if the balcony door is not closed, then the AC won't come on. Mm-hmm. And I was like, No, it's closed. Like, and they checked it themselves and it was closed. But then I went to look at it again and I was like, it's closed, but it's not locking. And I kept trying to lock it. And I was like, no, this straight thing straight up does not lock. And it was like the like the lock part of it was like smashed in. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. But we got everything fixed and it was fine. I ended up getting to the pool in time because we stayed at the Bahia Principal. This is Runaway Bay. Mm-hmm. This is Runaway Bay, yeah luxury runaway bay in jamaica because there are like a couple of other properties um this resort was adults only which mm-hmm. like imo is the way to go mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um yeah. only because and it's again there's nothing wrong with being at a resort with where you know it's like family friendly but also yes, i is. sorry I yes, said, there yes, there is. Oh. <laughs> and I'll, you know what? I'll pause for a second to tell you why. Because there was one day where Liana and I and two other people were looking for a restaurant that we well that we thought we were going to go to, but we didn't end up going to. And there was a child when we walked by just screaming. Like oh, you would have yeah. thought somebody was murdering this child. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I have like the bandwidth to do this type of vacation with children. Because the mom was, like, trying to calm him down. And I was like, oh, no. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Like, I just, I'm there to relax. I'm there to, you know, I I feel like if I'm around kids, I need to, like, watch what I'm saying. And sometimes, like, when I'm around my younger, like, cousins and I'm around my cousins because, like, cousins' kids, I have, yeah, I'm trying, I mean, I'm pretty mindful of what I'm saying around them. But sometimes an F-bomb just slips out because it's just part of my everyday vocabulary. And I'm just like... (laughs) Mm, sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it was not because like the adults only portion and the family friendly portion were like connected like you could like mm-hmm. travel freely through either 
but like our beach and our pools were like adults only yeah um Mm -hmm. so it was good it was nice that first day wasn't we went to the pool and then we had dinner at the buffet that night yes Mm -hmm. amanda was falling asleep at dinner (laughs) there's a picture of me just slumped over my chair and like i'm just eh. (laughs) it was a long day traveling yeah it really was once i had like a nice warm meal in my belly i was like uh I think it's time to wrap things up. Oh my god, yes! Because that first night was when we had the oxtail. You guys, I was, I was. I keep oh hearing about this oxtail. I've never, it never had it. Have it? No. Well, I also showed up to the buffet like three hours after because Dorn and I knocked out. Like oh, once we got back to the hotel room, day. like we, was we it? were so because yeah because remember when we took we did the all nighter right before the flight so we hadn't slept like literally all day oh that's, that's what right. thomas and i did we stayed up all night yeah and so mm-hmm. by the time like we were back from the pool i was out like a light i was like, <laughs> good night yeah no yeah, the oxtail the was oxtail. really good um highly yes. recommend <laughs> yeah um overall the buffet was pretty good the breakfast mm-hmm. was great pretty wide variety i I guess if you were to go to this resort like you have nothing to worry about like there'd be plenty of things for anybody to eat even like the most pickiest of eaters the next day is when the fun begins (laughs) (laughs) because this was our excursion day and (laughs) our excursion was to tour the black river falls um, which we did. It was really fun. It mm-hmm. was about 45 minutes to an hour. We saw some crocodiles and some birds and mm-hmm. really nice views. Then we saw some, like they had like a crocodile sanctuary there mm-hmm. at the place that we went to. Mm-hmm. Then after that, we were supposed to go to YS Falls or the YSL Falls, as we <laughs> called it. <laughs> 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 um, but we went to Floyd's Pelican Bay Bar. I think it's just Floyd's uh Pelican Bar. Okay. I mean, Floyd's Pelican Disney, Bar. Yeah. Which is like yes. a tourist attraction, like for anybody that goes to Montego Bay, apparently, when we were looking at it. Yes. Up. It's um, a big hit. Like if you're if you're in Montego Bay, like that's the place to go to. It's very famous. And you know, I'll just say, like, we had a great day. Like, it's funny in hindsight. It was a little frustrating, like, throughout the day. But overall, like, I think we had a good time. And, like, Liana and I kept saying to each other, like, you know what? It could have been worse. The day could have been so much worse. And <laughs> Yeah. It was a great time. It was good. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. But <laughs> what we did not know going in was that to get to where we needed to be on the island and where we were was, like, two and a half hours away three hours because we ran into awful awful traffic so it took us we left at we left the hotel at 7 30 yeah yeah because we, we didn't get, get back house. yeah and then we didn't get back <laughs> like, until like 9 30 yeah <laughs> no, it, no, no it, was it was like 8 45 like, was, like, was it no. i thought it was like it nine was, it was no because we had enough time to eat dinner we got back oh yeah, yeah that's right mm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it took us. We got to the black. We got to Black River Falls in time for the 11 a.m. tour. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. we went, which again, lovely. It was very nice views. Uh, I love seeing little crocodiles. We did have some people on our boat who didn't understand the concept of like balancing the boat so it doesn't tip over. <laughs> <laughs> and the and so the the um the tour guide who was managing the boat and and you know steering the boat he said he actually taught like he showed us how to sit on the boat he said i need you to sit here i need you to sit there so that way we balance the boat okay he that was i remember him clearly saying that so the other half of the boat so whenever we like came across the crocodile everybody would get off like just stand up and go to one side of the boat where the crocodile was near and you can feel <laughs> the boat tilting it was like a seesaw but you felt the the boat like moving on one side i'm just like you know what this is where it ends this is where it ends yeah 
Amanda was like, I don't need to see the crocodile that bad. <laughs> Apparently, don't. there was one in Prospect Park when we were gone, so we could have just gone to Prospect Park. <laughs> Honestly. <For> free. <laughs> <laughs> Did not have to go all the way to Jamaica. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So then... <laughs> In order to get to the Pelican Bar that we needed to go to, we drove to, like, kind of a remote area on the beach. Because this bar is in the middle of the ocean. Like, and I'm not kidding. Like, no land around it. It's in the middle of the ocean on a... Because, like, you can touch the bottom. But what is... It's on a... Um... Oh, I don't know. I don't. It's it's hard to describe. You are in the middle of the ocean, mm-hmm. but um, it's like pool. So like, is what's it called? Like it's pool. They describe it as pool standing, meaning like you. Could, it's like it doesn't well, go above. It is not pool standing because um, that was up to my ears. But <laughs> the the water was rocky. It was very rocky. <laughs> Jamaica's topography is very like hilly which i wasn't expecting it is obviously that extends to like the ocean floor so there's a part of the ocean floor where it's like higher up than literally the rest of the ocean because if you were to take several steps out there would be like a ledge and you would basically just it's kind of like when you're Mm -hmm. at coney island or something like there's a Mm -hmm. part where you go out far enough and then if you go out too far like you're falling into the ocean you'll dip there's definitely (laughs) a pocket of water where you're just gonna fall right in yeah Mm mm-hmm and so, like, this place is built on top of, like, a part of the ocean where it's, like, people who are tall enough can just stand and they're fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but, yeah, you have to take a boat all the way out there. And <laughs> that journey was interesting. So we thought with this excursion, everything was included, right? Meaning transportation, food, drinks, beverages, right? That's what we thought. So after going to the Black River to see all these lovely crocodiles, you know, our tour guide goes, <laughs> okay, all right, let's on to the next stop. And I, I don't know how I missed this. Maybe some of you, maybe you guys saw it, but when the driver turned around and goes, do you want to go with these guys? Oh no, I heard that loud and clear. <laughs> No, well, mind you, see... before that, he was like, oh, okay, I'm not going down an empty road. <laughs> turns around yeah because we were driving to i guess i don't know what it is maybe like maybe he knew his way maybe he didn't but like right he drove he made a turn into like a like just a one-way road and he kind of felt a little like he felt weird about it and didn't feel safe and was like i am not driving down this road and i was like oh okay so we're going back onto the main road and then he sees these two guys and then turns and looks to me and he goes do you want to go with these guys and i'm like what does what does that mean what do you what do i I don't want to go with these guys i I want to stay with you (laughs) i like you you (laughs) what are you doing to me right now but apparently the way for you to get to the pelican bar there are guys who just stand on the side of the road and they have a sign and it says 25 dollars pelican bar so it's a lot so it's mostly for like you know the tourists that go to jamaica and want to go to you know the pelican bar so you go to these guys you pay them 25 dollars per person and they get you on a little boat and mind you when we like pulled up to the ocean see the boat i know for a fact we were probably shitting in our pants because we were like am i ever going to come back i mean that's literally said you're recording my last moments and i was like shut (laughs) up (laughs) i'm like what the hell and i told constantine i was like you better get the driver's name you better make sure you get his number make sure we get the, the 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 driver gets this guy's number so we get on the boat the thing is is that we get on the boat and it's like there's you don't see anything you just see water so i'm just like i keep talking to our driver and i'm like okay so where is the bar and he's like oh it's over there and i'm just like okay yeah i understand but like where over there because all i see is water my dude and he's like you have to go it's a little far deep and i'm like i understand that 
but I see nothing but oh. the horizon. It's <laughs> I'm really freaking ocean out right now. Everywhere. <laughs> ocean, ocean water, and the shore water, is water, like water. kind of far. But I think it was, it was, it was like water. It wasn't explained to us very well. And like we didn't yeah, no. know to ask the proper questions going in. Like that really was the issue. It was the communication, yeah. like, hey, it's about this far. You'll be in the boat about this long. This is what you have to do to get there. That's the that's the part that we missed. Had we known these things going in, it wouldn't have been so like, what are you doing? Mind yeah. you, we still freaking did it. So I don't know if we're dumb or what, but <laughs> so yeah. when we when we finally pull up to the pelican bar again smack in the middle of the ocean oh, i think you missed a part um, <laughs> where we got into the boat and our boat driver was literally like <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god oh my god okay right he's so pulling like the, the motor and he's he's just like he's struggling and i'm like <laughs> this boat is broken and we're gonna die mind you i think everyone here on this podcast that's listening knows that i do not swim <laughs> and so he's just like pulling and he's talking he's to the motor nor in either and neither one of them have yeah, life jackets no on. I think half of us on that boat knows how to swim yeah. properly. So it's like, um, we kind of asked out here. We have to save somebody. <laughs> Everybody grab your um, saving buddy. <laughs> but <laughs> so like, yeah, the guy is like pumping the motor and he's like, come on, baby. Come on. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I was like, holy shit. I was like, this is it. <laughs> I was so close to being like, it's okay, guys. I don't need to see this bar. I can wait for you on shore. <laughs> I will be because there was a wedding at the shore that we were yeah. at that the guy that our driver stopped us at. There was a wedding yeah. that was gonna happen. Yeah. I was so close to being like, I can be a guest at this wedding and you guys can join the Pelican Bar. Bro. <laughs> so we pull up, we pull up to the Pelican Bar, right? And we see all these other boats, you know docked and people getting off the boats and i'm like okay great nice to know we're not the only idiots who got on this <laughs> boat with random people and getting you know coming to this bar because i was like okay this makes me feel a little bit better and um we get to the pelican bar we have to like climb our way up to the bar and honestly again we thought that paying to get to the bar included stuff could not include stuff mm -hmm. we had to buy more stuff <laughs> in jamaica's cash only like yes. not, mm -hmm. it's not cash only but like cash is preferred because the people at black river yeah. falls explained to us that like yeah a lot of americans come to jamaica they put all these yeah. purchases on their credit card and then they'll come back to america call their credit card companies and report fraud so yeah. then these places like don't get paid that's mm -hmm. very unfortunate that was when I heard that I was like, oh, that's that that really does suck for them. Yeah, um, that's super unfortunate. And it always it's it only takes one to ruin it for the bunch. But I can see why a lot of their places, a lot of their excursions and attra um, attractions are only just cash only. Yeah. Yeah. And I will say, like, once we got to the Pelican Bar, like we had a great time. We had uh, I think Jeremy got fish. You got chicken, right, Amanda? Leona, you got shrimp. Mm -hmm. I got shrimp, yeah. I had so good. Chicken wings. Thomas had chicken. Like this, this food so freaking good. And this yeah. fish, like it was catching made it fresh. In the ocean. Yeah, everything. I want to yeah. say like everything was fresh, all natural. I had the fried chicken, and and French fries. Constantine and I split a plate because it was that big that we could split a plate, mm -hmm. and um, it came with this like yummy sauce. I want to say it was kind of like jerk sauce, but on the lighter on the milder end mm -hmm. it was so good drinks i got i had the red stripe beer the red stripe jamaican beer it's very, very good. good yeah i think it was such I, a cute yeah. place like mm -hmm. when like so you climb up and it's like this place like it's in the middle of the ocean and it's just it's a hut it looks like a mm -hmm. hut and it's like you climb up the stairs and everything's like wood and you use every there's like names carved in the wood of like people who visited. There's like license plates from all these different countries, states. There's shirts. Money, people were like, like marketing their businesses. in this place. It was so, um, yeah. The flags of like football teams, basketball teams, um, uh, you know, yeah. flags of countries of people who visited. It was very cool. 
Like it was we a very were there nice place. And then for a good like what two and a half hours, maybe I want to say two and a half hours. hours. Yeah. And mm-hmm. honestly, like you, could, we could have spent more time there because it's just like in the sun, like it gets great sunlight. Mm-hmm. And then you, like I said, you can go in the water and like the waters were a little rough that day. It was very windy the day we went. Mm-hmm. So that was what that was about. But like on a nice day, like on a like calm day, I can see how you could just like wade around in the water and like have a great time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I will say the guy came, he came back with a, a bigger boat. Cause I don't think a better they were, boat. yeah, I don't think they were <laughs> yeah. prepared for like a group our size. Cause we, we are like, from what I saw, we were one of the larger groups, mm-hmm. like in our resort and like usually wherever we yeah. went. So yeah, um, that was my favorite part. Um, it was excursion. high key recommend Floyd's Pelican mm-hmm. Bar if you're in Jamaica. And now you know what it entails, so you won't be us. Yeah. So bring your cash. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, know how far the travel is to get there. <laughs> I was going to say, we did see all of Jamaica in one day because like you travel through all the roads and stuff and like it's a good it's a cool experience. But keep in mind that you're in a car most of the time if you stay in Montego Bay. Yeah. And like we we were deep into the island, like we were an hour away from Montego Bay. That's why it took us so long. There are resorts closer to Montego Bay that you can stay at. Like, Mm -hmm. honestly, I think there's some like like 10 minutes away from the airport. So, yeah. That's why it took us so long to like get where we were going, but we did not make it to YSL Falls. YS Falls is what it's actually called. <laughs> um, it closed at three thirty, and nobody told us. We were not informed of that at all. Um, mm. Our driver had thought we needed to be there by five, and like mind you, like he had no part in like he was literally just the driver set by the company like he didn't know yeah. like the times for anything or anything so we didn't make it there amanda was able to get a partial refund for that part which was nice um but because of this we had an excursion scheduled for saturday, saturday. yeah we had an excursion scheduled for saturday and just because like it took us so long to like get everywhere and like liana said we were basically in the car for I, we spent like 15 hours of this day together yeah and like most of it was in a car we just decided like we'll just stick at the resort and like do it that way um and the excursion for saturday like it wasn't much different than what we did it was more of like just drinking at another bar at a margaritaville and like bouncing on some stuff in water sports like yeah it was fine but honestly like that day it was good it was a good day not my favorite day but a good day great day Yes, not my favorite day. It was a good day. We get we did get to see Jamaica. We always refer to Dominican Republic when you're not in a resort to El Campo. We definitely saw El Campo of Jamaica. And then we made a few pit stops on our way back home because no one was like, I need my coconut. And the driver <laughs> was like, I got you. No worries. So he found us a little spot. How much was that coconut? It was two dollars. $2. I was like, great. <laughs> $2 for the coconut. Chocolate I think if right it there. were, yeah, mm-hmm. I think if it were cold, it would have been like chef's kiss. But it it was like towards the end of the day. So I'm assuming like it's been out for a minute. Right. But it, the water, like it was, it just tasted so fresh. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we saw a few accidents along the way too. And I was just oh, like, damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it took us longer to get home than it did to get there. And it was because there was so much traffic from like the two or three accidents that were on the road. Yeah. So, But I will say our driver was really, really nice. And like he gave us a great history lesson of Jamaica. Like, yeah, it was not a bad driver to be in a car with for as long as we were at all. Mm -hmm. He was playing the tunes. So kind of make it. He made it a little bit better. Yeah. (laughs) So that was thursday my goodness <laughs> mm-hmm. friday <laughs> was like and that was the day we had planned to like be on the beach or be on the yeah be on the beach be on the in the pool mm-hmm. um which is yeah. honestly that's what we did all day we got breakfast mm-hmm. we were up at the beach water was amazing the beach was a little shallow they had it sectioned off i wish i'd been a little mm-hmm. deeper the like beach for our portion yeah. that day it started out cloudy a little bit but sun came out it was good to go because then we switched to the pool with the swim up bar had a great time that was the phone party day was that it a saturday it was 
Mm-mm. It was Friday. Oh, it was no, Friday, no. 3 p.m. Oh, <laughs> was it Friday? No, yeah. it, was it was Friday. Was, no, it was Friday. Oh, no, it was Friday. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And Friday. honestly, this foam party, so much fun. Like, it was literally just a ton I had of the foam time of my life. <laughs> loved it. They were playing great music. We were all like dancing around in the pool. Great, great time. Oh, my God. Cool. Ho- Hopefully some of you guys uh caught that on Instagram because we put it quickly on our story that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I will say like, so okay, sneak peek. Okay, bye. <laughs> so when we went to DR, we stayed at the same like brand of resorts. And one of the things mm-hmm. that I did like between the Jamaica Resort and the DR Resort was that the Jamaica Resort had the events board and like stuff to do and like very clearly laid out what was happening. So it was very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the phone party was a great time. And I think, I really think that was it for Friday. Like, hung out at the beach, hung out at the pool till we couldn't anymore. We met up later for dinner. You guys went to the discotheque, right? Sure did. We sure <laughs> did. We even, even that night that we, um, the day that we got back from like the long day of traveling excursion, I was like, I was like, yeah, nope. I was like, I'm gonna go to the discotheca. I'm gonna go. I'm ready. I'm gonna go. I need. I need. I need to go. <laughs> it was good. It was a good time. It's. I don't know how okay. to say this. So the one in DR but was like, an actual like club. This one, yeah. was like yes. in a conference hall. <laughs> like it was in a conference hall. Yes, like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's exactly the right way to <laughs> describe it. <laughs> but it was still a good time. I mean the. Like it, it just, it needed its time to like pick up because I think yeah. like once it opened, like it was just like the first couple of people checking it out, seeing how it is. Mm-hmm. So the DJ is not really like live yet. Yeah. Um, And then what else? And then, but like after, like as the night goes on, like once it hits like 12 AM, like that's when the music starts picking up. That's when everyone yeah. starts having a good time. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I had a great, I had a great time. Yeah. I had a great time. Mm-hmm. The DJ definitely like, like the first like hour that the discoteca is open, like people are coming in and out, just like checking out the vibes. And so the DJ is not going to like go ham that first hour. Once he re- like he gets his crowd and he knows like who's here and OK, like who he's like playing for. That's when he starts like, you know, playing, you know, good music. So I'm like, all right, all right, fine. So like it isn't until 12 <laughs> midnight that, you know, things start to like pick up. And um. I'm surprised I didn't stay till the very end. Usually when we, when I go to these, these cotecas, like I'm there, like from beginning to end, I wasn't there to the end, but I stayed there long enough for me to enjoy myself and have my drinks and go back to the room. Yeah. yeah. This goes heck, not my vibe, but you know, what was my vibe the next day? Honestly, the Saturday was my favorite day by far. We got a, we again, went to the buffet for breakfast. Yes. Um, we were at the pool. Right. Yeah. We decided to do the pool all day this day. Yeah. And yeah, we yeah. had a perfect spot in the sun, like just straight up in the sun. It was great. It was fantastic. We were hanging out, drinking a little bit. Nora and Liana were sun tanning. Uh, Constantine and Thomas were trying to stay out of the sun. <laughs> um, then at some point, the boys are like playing volleyball with a group of people. We're on the chairs. <laughs> In. <laughs> yes the boys in motion. they were playing with the boys in motion actually uh, um and then at some point i don't know we're all in the water and it's like hey y'all want to play basketball and we were like yeah of course we want to play basketball the most intense basketball game water basketball game ever like ridiculous i did not plan on you guys would have thought that we hated each other because we were going ham (laughs) at one point amanda drowned in a little water we're gonna give some context no we're gonna get some context behind that because i slipped and obviously if i'm slipping in the water my hand went up and it it so happened to land on her bun and amanda has long ass arms you guys like she's a she's tall and she has some long ass (laughs) arms (laughs) <laughs> because when I see her like reaching for these balls, I'm like, you're you like your wingspan's ridiculous. Because my arm <laughs> never reach over there. It Mind was- you, it's me, Amanda, Liana, and then Liana brought one of her friends with her. Yeah, in under the hoop, 
and the boys are just out there like just no they're there for the show we're all <laughs> like we're all playing center and all of these boys are just out there you know in the middle of the water like out in the water just looking at us freaking <laughs> fight for the ball and they're just going back and forth back and forth like oh what's gonna happen next okay she's gonna oh ooh, ow that didn't look nice okay <laughs> Well, you know what it was for me though, because I didn't plan on getting my hair wet, and I was like, "Oh, it'll be nice. We'll be just like up in the air." At one point, your friend and I, Liana, went for the ball, and we both <laughs> somehow ended up under the water. And I'm like doing a backstroke to get this freaking ball, and I was like, "You know what? Okay, fine. This is what we're doing then." And that was it for me. I was like, "Okay, <laughs> crazy." <laughs> and then, it was, yeah, it was fun. I, I scratched my pinky toe. It was great. Yeah, it was a great time. Uh, and then we. <laughs> And then we played volleyball. Volleyball is not my sport. That was not. I know basketball was so much, but we played two games of basketball, you guys, and we yes, were all we like, did. "We did cardio." Oh yeah, my we goodness. did. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we and did Liana, play. she every yeah. time she got it to like when somebody would pass Liana the ball, if she was right there by the hoop, just in. And I was like, "What are you guys doing? Come on now, y'all can see this, can't y'all?" And everybody's just like, "We've seen it. It's okay." And I'm like, "Okay, so we're gonna lose then. <laughs> That's it. Y'all just want to lose." <laughs> Oh, um, so sorry. It was good. It was such a good game. Uh, yeah. It was a fun time. Yeah. I was telling everybody, uh, pickup games might need to be our summer activity. <laughs> and Norn and the guys were like, no, no, no. I don't want y'all in the paint like that. I don't want y'all in the paint like that. I was mm-hmm. like, okay. <laughs> it was a fun time. I yeah, love that. We had a yeah. great time. I really, I really did. So <laughs> many like fun memories came from that. Yeah. And I can't wait till like we are for further away from the trip to be like, oh my god, do you guys remember that time that Amanda almost drowned Leon? In the <laughs> I am gonna, I'm gonna hold on to that story for the rest. Of my life. Like Lord. Amanda is tall when she's sitting next to me, but like playing this water basketball game made me realize like how tall you actually are. Because like Liana would be trying, y'all would both be trying to go for the ball at the same time, and like you would just clearly beat her by like five seconds and i'm yeah. like bro you're so long what the hell <laughs> mm-hmm. it's those years of karate trying to fight and go <laughs> for my punch in you gotta sneak my punch in i had to stretch my arms that's all it is i could have died for this game <laughs> <laughs> literally could have died she's what what degree black belt are you i'm a second degree black belt. i could have died for this game <laughs> For a friendly game of water basketball. <laughs> All friendly fun and game. I promise you. Uh, uh, good times. And then good times. We you know, we hung out by the pool until we couldn't anymore. The pool was open from like what nine to six every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It definitely closed mm-hmm. at six. So we were out of there at six. I think this was the first night we went to dinner at one of the restaurants. Yes. yes. Yeah, we went to uh-huh. the Brazilian the steakhouse. Yeah, steakhouse. <clears throat> because, you know, mm-hmm. we are a big group. We weren't able to get reservations ahead of time. So, mm-hmm. in order to accommodate us, like our options were like kind of limited because a lot of people book before they go or mm-hmm. like book as soon as they get there. And it, so it was hard. And also, a lot of people are just two people. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and not eight. But the steakhouse, honestly, I like the steakhouse. I thought it was very good. It was very good. All of our options were very good. Um, it's not like they were just giving you like a piece of meat and like here, have that. Mm-hmm. No, all of them were like seasoned. Mm-hmm. Pretty well. It was a decent amount. Yes. I will say though, they came out very fast. Like I would still have meat in my mouth and they would be out with the next thing of meat. And I'm like, yeah, hold on just a second. <laughs> <laughs> because like, so you picked out your like appetizer and your salad mm-hmm. and I had this like yummy seafood soup. It was so yes. good. There was a it muscle was- in it. Mm -hmm. um and then you know you went and got your plate with some sides and then that's when the meat started and there was Mm -hmm. like chorizo there was a steak there was chicken there there was was lamb lamb Lamb. there were like three of them were they were clearly beef but they did all depend on like the cut of the beef Mm -hmm. i Mm -hmm. think some were like like a chuck or porterhouse something like that so it all depend on like the, the cut of the meats but there were definitely like three different choices of beef like a steak yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but then after dinner we went to the all-white party which was so much fun yes. yeah that was a that was a blast <laughs> that was none of us were wearing fun. white it was great no, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Amanda was close. She was you were wearing like a beige. Yes, I was wearing beige. I was like in a nude uh, outfit, but uh, um, I was not in the nude. I was in the nude. (laughs) Um, Yeah, but it was on the beach. And like earlier in the day, I actually saw them like setting up for it. So I knew right then I was like, okay, it's going to be like a big thing. And it was they um, they had like little lights up. It was pretty crowded, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, they had uh, two bars set up at the beach, DJ playing the tunes. It was fun. We were doing some line dancing. They did like the electric slide. They did um, the Jerusalem song. Yeah, love like that, that song. Yeah, <laughs> loved it. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. They had some competitions going on there. Oh, they, they had a twerking, comp- <laughs> a twerking competition. <laughs> Let's be <Yeah>. real. <laughs> they had some twerking competitions. That's where I just watch. <laughs> yeah, I got I got so scared though because the DJ started coming out into the crowd and starting to pick out yeah people, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Every time he came out, I was like just turning around, ignoring him, and just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look the other way. Yeah, it was, it was a good sad. all white party. It was a good party. Yeah, yeah. And then we did try to go to the discotheque, but it was closed, so that didn't happen. Which I was think a the bummer. I mm-hmm. think the beach party was the club because I think it's the same DJ. Right. I I I got the same feeling too, but I. Like thinking about it now, um, the not at the not the Bahia that we were at in DR, but other um resorts that I've been to in DR where they do the same thing where they have like a beach party and then they're like, okay, now uh join us at our discoteca where where we'll be there until two two a.m. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought was gonna happen that they were gonna move the after party to the discoteca like from like one to two. Yeah. whatever but that didn't because what time did it end it was like midnight i think Maybe. it was right so i figured like one oh, i think it was i think it was like one. Oh wow was so, it i could be i could be mixing 12 30 up. between 12 30 and one and then like i thought that we would move to the discoteca and finish there but then when we walked to the discoteca it was like lights out i was like oh no conferences that day honestly like this was my favorite day like we had spent 15 hours with each other previously like driving around and it was a good day like no no nobody got on each other's nerves or anything like it was a good time (laughs) and then next day was our last full day yes at the pool i made it my business after the whole day excursion thing i was like no i'm getting up yeah. I know I will be investing in some um towel clips. The clips. <laughs> That's the way to resort. You have to get your towel clips. You have to get a case where you can put your phone in. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a little it looks like a Capri Sun um pouch. pouch where you put your phone in, lock it up, you put it around your neck. It's like a lanyard thing. And it could be in the water. You don't have to worry about it. You take your pictures in the pool. Um, what else? Tumblr. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Christina for getting us our birthday tumblers that have they were the uh the cover of um the bad bunny Un yeah. verano sin ti, uh on it and it said Amanda Liana's dirty thirty. Shout out to Christina and yes, and that is shout out to my friend Alicia. She makes tons of crafts. I at the time of this recording mm. do not know if she's taking outside of our hometown orders, but I will find out. And if she is, I will link her Instagram in our show notes. Thank you to you. We love them. They were so yes. cool. <laughs> and honestly, like they and kept also... my drink co- so freaking cold, like twenty four hours cold. It, it really did. Like I, I remember us going to get a pineapple. But I had already gotten my drink and I left my drink like out in the sun, mm-hmm. had my pineapple. And I was like, OK, now I'm ready to have my drink. And that was still cold. It and it's was big, cold. too. It's like it's like. Mm-hmm. It's... OK. And the reason why I say to bring a tumbler to a resort oh. is so that way you're not constantly going to the bar and getting a drink because they give you like these little small mm-hmm. plastic cups and then by the time you know it, you take three chugs and you're like, oh, wow, I got to go back to the bar. 
get yourself a nice size tumbler with a lid. And that way you just go to the bar, they fill it up and you leave and you're not making all these like back and forth trips Mm -hmm. trying to get yourself a drink. I recommend it. And I recommend getting pineapple and cocoa rum. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so it was very good. It was. Yeah. Yeah, Sunday was Um, a little cold though. It was a little cold. We were in that water like... It got Ooh. chilly. Which honestly set up for us leaving on Monday because it, it poured. It was raining like all day when we were leaving. Um, and it was yeah. the perfect way to yep. leave because if it had been sunny and beautiful, it would have made it 10 million times harder to leave. Yeah. Constantine was saying in the back of the van, I kept hearing him. He was like, Jamaica sat to see us go. And I was like, it is. <laughs> It is sad to see us go. <laughs> yeah, it literally rained from beginning to end while we were like, when we left and then when we got on the plane, it mm-hmm. was raining. Um, But all in all, the weather was very beautiful. Oh, it was so comfortable. Good. I don't think it was ever too mm-hmm. hot. If if we were hot, it was because we were under the sun. Like, that's what it was. But there was a breeze. It wasn't like dry or humid. I Maybe a little humidity, but again, the weather wasn't stupid hot. It was very comfortable to be in. Um, yeah. So really quick rundown. Amanda, Leon, and I obviously went on the trip. <laughs> Constantine, Amanda's husband, Norin, Liana's husband, Jeremy, my boyfriend, came, Thomas came, and Liana's friend. So there was eight of us. We stayed at the Bahia Principal Runaway Bay Luxury or Luxury Runaway Bay. One of those orders is correct. It was about an hour-ish or so to the resort. Um, I think overall, I kind of liked the Bahia and DR a little better than the one in Jamaica. I think if I were to do Jamaica again, it would be a different resort. The one with the, um, with the what do they call them? The bungalows. Yes. Uh, while we were driving, right, the, um, the driver said uh, the Sandals South. Something. I think that's what it's called. Something in Jamaica. That's like one of the, the best resorts to stay at. So yes, I would like to try that one next time. And now I know like what to expect if I were to ever go back. Was this ever? No, Liana, this was not your first time. Mm-mm. Um, I liked the one in DR as well. But I the people in the resort, like in, in Montego Bay, they were phenomenal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the people yeah, there were just were. so great, so accommodating, oh, yes. so patient, so like personable. Like they and they have no yeah. problem, you know, being kind. And it's it was so nice. It was so nice. Like their energy was just everything. Yeah, they literally do it all for you. Hospitality was a 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They checked they constantly checked in on us to see how we were doing, if we needed anything. Mm-hmm. Um, we got phone calls to our rooms asking so if many we phone anything, calls. <laughs> if we needed anything. Um, they knew that um it was mine and um well, mine and Liana's birthday. So they put a happy birthday banner outside of our door. They even uh, decorated our beds and it said happy birthday across them. When we came back, I think, um, was it Wednesday when we came back from the pool? Yeah. Yeah. So we came back and they had that decorated. It was, the people there are very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Jeremy and I got so two humble. complimentary yeah. fruit plates. They're very good. It was really cute, though, especially because like they when they sent the first fruit plate, it was like to apologize for everything that had gone wrong in the room in the beginning, which was really nice. And then I came back one day and I was like, there are two fruit plates here. Where'd these come from? (laughs) But it was good. And like some of the amenities at this resort are like everything in the mini bar is free. You get a bottle of vodka and a bottle of spice rum, I believe, like Jamaican spice rum. Mm -hmm. You get one bottle like per stay for free. Like so Leon and Amanda also had these. Again, this is an all inclusive resort. So like the buffet was included. The two restaurants that we went to were included. Yes. I actually forgot to mention that on Sunday we went to a fusion type restaurant. It yes. Was, um, we had like ramen, sushi, and I literally can. Oh, I had um 
a pork. It was called bittersweet pork, but I think it was just sweet and sour sauce. It was very good. Mm-hmm. What and we had? had the veal. Oh, that was good. I had the <laughs> veal. That was very good. I enjoyed that one a lot. Yeah. Anna accidentally ordered a bottle of Chardonnay or a Pinot instead of a glass. Pinot Grigio. She said, can I get a Pinot Grigio? They said, yeah, of course. They <laughs> brought up the whole thing. I was like, I just wanted a glass of wine. And they brought out a whole presentation. I'm like... So, yeah, okay. <laughs> so that's like one of the things to keep in mind when you go to resorts, right? Is like if you name drop, they're going to give you that. And then they're going to be like, OK, well, this is how much it's going to cost you. It wasn't too bad. It was like thirty five dollars. I was like, right. Okay, whatever. So if you want white wine, just say I want white wine. If you want red wine, I would like some red wine. OK. No. And maybe from there, be like, what kind of white wine is that? Oh, it's just do you have any other types of white wines? And then maybe you can try to get your way, you know, into getting what you want. But I think Norin had the same problem too, because um, I think it was our first night at the discoteca. And he was like, is it me? Or is he charging me for my drinks? I'm like, what do you mean? He was like, yeah, I asked for a Jack and Coke. And Constantine uh, was like, you asked for a Jack and Coke. You should have just asked for a rum and Coke. Yeah oopsies mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> what did you do with the bottle we left it in the room like i couldn't finish it i was dead mm -hmm. tired i was like like sun like <laughs> from wednesday through saturday i had maintained a level <laughs> and then sunday i was just like boom i'm done yeah. i can't i can't anymore Same. and so i really wanted to finish it but i i really could not i couldn't yeah I, we were supposed to meet up after dinner and we're yep. just like no that's it it's done we couldn't it was like I was struggling. It was hard, but I mean, because yeah. like I was, the, I think I told you guys, like I, I throughout the days that we were there, I never napped throughout the day. Like I was always like up, and like even when we left the pool to go back to the room and get ready for dinner, like I didn't nap between then either. Mm -hmm. So like I was just, I was just like up all the time, and then Sunday was like, girl, you need to sleep for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. So overall, like I'd give the resort like a between a seven and eight out of ten. Loved it. Had a great time. Um recommend. Yeah. If if you do not plan on leaving the resort, or if you plan on only leaving one day, if you're looking to do multiple yeah. excursions a day, I would say some stay somewhere closer to Montego Bay. And book your excursion through your resort. Um, we did book outside of our resort and, um, maybe next time. Yeah. I will or just, just like ask questions, ask more questions. We didn't ask questions. Yeah. So, and that yeah. was, that was our mistake. We should have yes. asked questions. Yes. Um, but bring cash if you're going to Jamaica. Honestly, yes. like I kind of remember at this point, I think I just recommend like, if you're going to a resort, just bring cash. cash. Like you can have it to tip with. You can have it for whatever extra things yes. you need cash for. Um, because a lot of these places like our resorts and um, the excursions and stuff are open to people that are staying on the resort. Like they take U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. So just something to keep in mind. You also like our airport obviously had a place where you could exchange your money. So you can exchange money if you need to. And I think they even did it at our resort. Like you could exchange your dollars up to a certain amount, obviously. Yeah. Um. So it was good. How do y'all feel now, though, about being 30? Um, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I look forward <laughs> to, uh, I look forward to what's to come. I was having a little hard time coming to terms with it before. I was having a rough week, my birthday week. <laughs> but, um, I'm blessed. I'm grateful um, to have um, celebrated my 30th birthday the way I did. I'm still celebrating my birthday because it's still February. <laughs> ha ha. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I I celebrate the heck out of it. I'm going to celebrate with my family. So um, that is the last thing on my celebration list. I look forward to that. Um, being 30 is a trip. 
<laughs> I will say that. <laughs> you feel it in your knees first, everybody. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> crazy. Um, it happened so quick too. It was like, as soon as I was 30, I was like, oh, there are my kneecaps. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this new decade of life. I feel, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this is going to be like a really good year. That's how I feel. Oh, yeah, you guys. And what was y'all's favorite part of y'all's birthday trip? Basketball. Ma. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> <sighs> Basketball and the and the beach party. Yeah, and the phone party. The, all the parties. <laughs> I yeah. was going to say the phone party, the beach party. Um, even the trivia. Mm-hmm. We played, they had a little pop trivia. Um, oh, that's right. <laughs> and you guys won. We did win. And I there's somewhere in Bahia's Instagram where you see a picture of us somewhere there they took they definitely took a picture of us oh my god um, I forgot about that that was so fun yeah we, had, we played like pop trivia in the pool so and we won um that was very fun again just having those like activities you would think like you're just at a resort and okay it's just pool and beach no they actually made it fun for their guests mm-hmm. and having those activities for their guests i enjoyed it greatly so yes Thank you for all the activities, but here, Principe. Yeah, events wise, this this resort gets a ten out of ten. Like it was so good. Yes, good trip. So this was actually no. I was gonna say that this was our first time traveling as a group, but no, because we went upstate in October for you to get engaged. Mm-hmm. So it was our first time traveling internationally as a group, mm-hmm. and it was honestly it was good. It was a good time. There was yeah. like I didn't think there were any issues with it. I think we had enough like away time from everybody that like it was okay. Uh, Norn and I did get popped by TSA on the way back. Oh yeah, <laughs> Norn especially, and I was like standing there watching him. Like, are, is he gonna have to stay in Jamaica? What is happening right now? Because oh my god, we got selected for like random like screening before we left mm-hmm. the Montego Bay Airport, and they just basically like. You know, the little drug strips like they did it on my palms. They did it on my outside clothes. They did it on my stuff inside. And like they were testing for like explosives, she said. And I was like, but I had to take everything out of my bag. And everybody's just looking at me. And I'm like, that was bro, I don't want to be doing this. Freak either. me out. Definitely freak me out. And she was talking to Norn for so long. And I was like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And I didn't. I like I was like, who do I tell? Where is everybody? <laughs> You guys. And then I was going to go back to y'all after they were done with me. And they were like, no, no, no. Get on the plane. And I was like, okay. So sorry. I don't know what I did, but I'm really sorry. (laughs) (laughs) TSA scares me. I just like, sometimes I'm like, I don't, I'm afraid. And I stutter. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Stop. (laughs) She was asking me like basic questions. And I was like, uh, uh, I'm so sorry. (laughs) But, you know, we got there. We were fine. It was just because Norn and I were the first two to go. Norn was the first one to go. Mm-hmm. But yeah, exciting. From mm-hmm. the moment we left to the moment we arrived in, uh, left Montego Bay. What a great time. <laughs> That's a fun time to yes. be there again. I feel like we were just there yesterday. Oh, I know. <laughs> this, whole, this week's been a little hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, oh. oh, my God. I feel like I need a vacation from the vacation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. another <laughs> before we do what is making you glow this week we have to give a big birthday shout out to thomas because he will be turning 29 tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> which is after this recording so by the time this recording comes out he will already be 29 years old um, and we are going to celebrate him with some Korean fried chicken. I almost said Kentucky fried chicken. <laughs> Some nice That's the KFC. KFC. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, we're going to hang out, play some games at Barcade. It'll be a great time. Yes, We yes, love yes. Thomas. Yes. Love yes, Thomas. Yes. <laughs> Thomas. Number one. Yes. Okay, you guys. What is making y'all glow this week? I get to see my mom in a couple of days. I haven't seen her since my birthday earlier this month. So get to see her, see family. 
discuss the trip. Discuss the highlights of the trip. <laughs> Tell them what happened. So excited. And be like, I'm back. <laughs> in tan. <laughs> yeah. All in one piece. Thank God. <laughs> um i mean i i'm staying home from work this week that's making me glow because like now i don't have to take the train to work and it's kind of nice hang out with rex all day and it's nice it's nice to be home and work (laughs) (laughs) um so jeremy and i have started looking for apartments and we had two actually scheduled to go look at this weekend but they got rented. So oh no! I imagine this is just the beginning of a very long journey, um, but not too long because we have a time limit. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that is making me glow this week. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. So, anyways. don't forget you guys we currently have two giveaways happening the first one when we reach 600 followers we will send our 600th follower a nice little goodie basket from glowing up latina with glowing up latina merch the second one we're actually really really close to we have like 89 subscribers on youtube And when we reach 100 subscribers, we will post the rules to a giveaway on the Glowing Up Latina Instagram for rules to enter because there will be a drawing for, again, some Glowing Up Latina merch, a little care package to show how much we love you guys. Mm -hmm. Tell your friends. (laughs) (laughs) Tell everybody. (laughs) Tell everyone. everyone. (laughs) Don't forget, everybody, you can hear us every wednesday wherever you guys listen to your podcast you can listen to us on spotify on apple Podcasts. you can watch us on youtube um like christina said subscribe follow do all the things leave us a glowing review because we love to hear from you guys yes and we continue to get closer to the end of the season season two so don't forget to send us your questions q a because we really want those questions they're not only just for us but also for tech support you want to get to know them more you can find us on instagram at glowing up latina and share how you're glowing this week maybe you have questions about some other things i don't know i don't know where i was going with that (laughs) literally (laughs) (laughs) literally anything right as christina said uh you can send that to glowing up latina at gmail.com so uh i'll just cut that part out here's the end Until next time, (laughs) keep blowing me up.